Haunted Butte is immersed in Rocky Mountain beauty with endless miles of national parks, awe-inspiring canyons, and land filled with legacy and beauty. History isn't just a thing of the past, but a way of life, like at the Wilder on the Taylor. The Wilder on the Taylor has been a working ranch, but since then it has become a favorite getaway destination spot for those who seek the ranch life, but on the wilder side. I'm here with Brad Willett from Wilder on the Taylor, so tell me what makes this place so special. Well, thanks for coming, first of all. We enjoy having you Thank out here. Thank you. And clearly the open space, everything you see is what originally drew me to this property. I've always had a passion for fantastic real estate developments and a huge passion for the outdoors, and to me this is the best of both. So tell me a little bit about the history of this place. Well, the history here at Wilder is quite extensive. It was originally established as a working ranch back in 1910. And what was particularly important to us when we talk about this as a development was to maintain that status and the history of this place and preserve the natural beauty of the land and keep the status of a working ranch. I've noticed that it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere and it's so quiet and beautiful, but you know, Crested Butte's right over there, Gunnison's right over there, so you're just a couple miles off the highway, but at the same time, you almost feel like you're stepping back in time. Absolutely, and that's, that's what we're hoping for here. It, we've got great access with the Gunnison Airport, and we're only 15 miles from the resort town of Crested Butte. And you know, you really feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. We're on 2,100 acres, surrounded by virtually 2 million acres of national forest. So it's, it's quite a playground. This ranch is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the mountains, the Taylor River running through, the history of the cabins, it's very peaceful. No, we agree, and we're so fortunate to have two miles of the Taylor River here at Wilder. It is truly one of the premier fisheries in the United States. Matter of fact, we have two guys on property right now that happen to be members of the United States fly fishing team. They are training for the World Championships in Italy next month. Are you kidding me? No. I have always wanted to fly fish. Do you think they could teach me a couple of pointers? <laughs> I don't think they'd mind at all. Let's go fly fish. All right. The Taylor River is known worldwide for some of the best fly fishing around. Anglers from all over come to challenge their skills on this river. And I'm here with the creme de la creme of fly fishing. We have Anthony and Devin over here who's showing you his skills, and I'm trying to stand. <laughs> this water is cold, the temperatures of the water are about 40, 48, 49 degrees, so as we stand nice here in this high water that we're on on the, uh, the Taylor River, this is, this is flowing about triple of what it normally does, so where we're standing at, normally we would be about maybe shin deep, and, and unfortunately we're in some pretty high water, but as we get prepared and we stand and, and hopefully teach Riley how to uh, how to stick these fish, and there's some big fish in the tailor. I've been told that there's a, a stretch of water in this particular ranch that they they call here on the Wilder Ranch the Dream Stream. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go see what's over there? Because my understanding is there's some big fish in the Dream Stream. Okay, so the Dream Team is going to take me to the Dream Stream to catch some real monsters. So let's go. Let's do it. Anthony, what do I need to do differently besides sweet talking the fish? Well, the sweet talking is not working very well. Because <laughs> they so know I'm lying. I, I, they know you're lying. So we got to we got to go to Plan B. Okay. Plan B. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna get real stealthy. Okay. And we're gonna make the most perfect cast that we can make. Okay. And I think if we can do that, I think we're gonna be pleasantly rewarded. Or maybe I could just learn to fish and catch one. Or, or. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that one sounds pretty good. <laughs> Bam! I did it! <laughs> so I'm going to Italy now? You're going to Italy. Can I kiss this That's, fish? You better. He's like, I love you. <laughs> he kissed you back again. <laughs> Yay, Fantastic. fish! Okay. Can we so, eat him or should we put him back? I think we should put him back. Kind of nice. Can yeah. I put him back? Sweet Free Willy! Anthony, thank you so much. I finally caught my first fish fly fishing. But let's go back, eat some dinner, and tell some fish stories. You got it. That one was at least this big, right? OK, you got it. I'm here 
enjoying the beautiful Colorado sunset, which I can never get tired of. I've been on the Taylor River all day fly fishing. Now it's time to have a little something to eat, tell some fish stories. Thank you guys so much for teaching me how to fly fish today. It was a little frustrating at moments, but you were patient with me and we finally kind of caught a fish. We definitely caught fish. You caught fish? On my own, all Absolutely. by myself. Absolutely, yeah. I was glad to help. Thanks glad for help. your help. <laughs> and the beauty they of- They were like this big. They were at least that big. Yeah, I don't even bigger. know. If, yeah. My, yeah. I don't know so, that your arms can really yeah. even reach that way. not even introduced in a rough way. Well, you know, with, with no help from neither you or, or myself, I think you did that all by yourself. Thank you. So, you yep. know, your spot yep. in Italy is, is being held, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> You know, one, one of the things for us is as we compete and we go overseas, we get to meet so many unique individuals and to come to a place like this and be able to train and, and fish, but teach people and get people involved in fly fishing because so many people get involved in fly fishing for a number of different reasons. There's so much more depth, there's so much more meaning in fly fishing to the everyday personal um, things that we take away from our professional lives that we can take and, and come to a place like this and fish on such a fantastic fishery. Hopefully you saw the uh, the the life that's giving back to you as you're as you're fishing out there throwing, I throwing it. flies. You did kiss it. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> and I he did. kissed you back. He so did. you know life was responding in a very positive way for you. So um, we were excited to spend some time with you to, to show you. You were a great teacher. This is not about flies, it's not about rods, it's not about the equipment. As much as our sponsors would love us to say, hey, I want you fishing this rod and I want you fishing this line. That's great, we need that. But as I go and I look for the strong competitors, I look for the strong people getting into fly fishing, one of the things that sets Devin and sets myself and sets these guys apart is their ability to believe in what they're doing and, and, and have that somewhat blind faith knowing, hey, I'm gonna go into Italy, I'm going to waters that I've never fished before, but you know what, I believe that I can win over there. Good luck in Italy, you too, Devin. Thank you. I hope you guys, well, you will bring home the gold. We will bring home gold. Let's go USA. I can never get tired of Colorado sunsets. I mean, the mountains, the pink, the purple. This is one of my favorite spots in America. There's lots more to see though. I'm Raleigh Kane, and you're watching Spotlight America. We're always looking for unique places to visit. If you think we should shine a spotlight on your community, we'd like to hear from you. Let us know by going to spotlightamerica.tv.